Fixing the Money Thing. 2 Corinthians 9. So let's dig into our word. Let's dig into this because we all have to pass the test. You have to pass the test. And my, I really feel the Holy Spirit's, uh, if I can convey, I want to convey God's heart in this conference for people. And we have the opportunity to be involved in that process. Chapter 9, verse 10, we, we quote this. Everyone in this room can probably quote it. You can probably quote it. We've all heard it, but I don't want you to think about what it's saying. Now, he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. I think that's God's intent, don't you? God wants to enlarge not just your wealth, he wants to enlarge the impact you'll have in his people business. That's the real thing behind it. You'll be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, and through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but it's also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God because of this service by which you have proven yourselves God spoke to you again. You've proven yourself. You're going to the next level. Others will praise God for this obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity and sharing with them and with everyone else and in their prayers for you. Their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. So again, generosity opens the heart of people and it shows them God's heart. Generosity supersedes words. You probably remember when someone was very generous to you or a compliment was given to you because you remember those days, those events. Now here's the, ma here's the major key. And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing, what? Sur uh, the surpassing grace God has given you. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. What's the gift? Well, we'll find out. Surpassing means a large amount or high degree, exceeding, excelling, or extraordinary, or structures of surpassing magnificence. So what is going to be yours in a huge amount? What does it say? Grace, right? Right? Because of the surpassing grace God has given you, their generosity, being able to be generous on every occasion, those that receive generosity are going to thank God for you and this surpassing grace that God has given you. So again, surpassing grace means extraordinary, magnificent, exceeding. So what is grace? The traditional definition of grace is unmerited favor. I think that falls way short. Grace is the empowering presence of God, enabling you to be who he created you to be and to do what he has called you to do. It is the power of God. So what is he saying? He is saying this surpassing power of God that has enabled you to prosper is a gift. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Gift of what? Of the surpassing grace, the power of God to prosper. Now, if God is going surpassingly above your, your ability, I'd say that's a pretty good team. Are you following me? See, you're working together. His heart is to reach the people. You have an option to be involved or not. And he says, if you get involved, there is my grace, my power goes to work to help you bring in the money that is needed in my people business. You got it? This is why Paul's letters always start with grace and peace to you. God's power to you. His peace to you. Almost all of his epistles start that way. Now I'm going to show you what I believe is the greatest wealth building secret in life. You will be made 
rich in every way. This is what God says. You will be made rich. Not that you'll strive to become rich. You will be made rich in every way. And it goes beyond money. That's life. So that you can be generous on every occasion. You've got to have some cash sitting around to be generous two or three times a day. And so through your generosity, this is a result in thanksgiving to God. I'm going to go through a couple parables with you that I want to emphasize how often and how much Jesus talked about your prosperity and why. And there are actually many parables, if you look at the Bible, that are given to us to understand this mission that God is on. Matthew 25, the parable of the talents is one we've talked about many times. Starting in verse 14 of Matthew 25, again, the kingdom of God is like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, to another one bag, each according to his ability. So he goes on his journey. The man who received five bags of gold multiplied it to five more or ten, right? The one that had the two bags now has four. The guy that had the one bag, what did he do with it? He buried it. Verse 24. Then the man who had received the one bag, now remember the master comes back and now brings accountability to this, you know, how these guys do with his wealth. He says, okay, what'd you do? And this guy says, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and I went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here's what's belonged to you. His master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. It means you're not worth too much. You're not helping the cause too much, right? So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it with interest. Why did the guy bury it? His view of God was totally warped as God is a hard taskmaster. Religion has taught us that God's a hard taskmaster, that all he wants, we just serve, 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 right? That God, you know, just God, you know, just got to serve God. We're forced to. It's a, it's a duty. It's just we got to serve God. And that was his attitude. So because the master is not going to plant the seed, it's not going to harvest the seed, yet take the seed, take the, take the harvest, this servant felt like, why even bother getting involved? There's nothing in it for me, right? I'm not getting, this guy, it's, it's all about him. It's all about him. You know, it's like, you know, I'm, I, why should I get involved? So he buried it. Now the master called his bluff because he said, here's what belongs to you. Like I'm trying to protect it. The master called his bluff because he was trying to give the image that he cared about the master's affairs. The point is he could care less about the master's affairs And let's go on here. Verse 28 is the point I want to make. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to someone else. That's what it says. Take it from him and give it to the one that has 10 bags of gold. Not politically correct, but it's very correct. If you're in business, give it to the one that knows what to do with it. For whoever has will be given more, and they'll have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have, will be taken from them. And what done with it? Given to someone else. And throw that worthless servant outside. So, friend, his view of the master was wrong, because if you study the, this parable, the master said to those first two, the one that actually went to work with his money on his behalf, he said, come and enjoy your master's happiness. They got to share in the harvest. The, the, they got to share in the goodness of what they did. But friend, this is the opportunity God's given us. What is important to God wasn't the fish, it was the people. God is in the people business. Who's going to get the ideas? Who's going to get the multi-million dollar contract? Who's going to get the, the real estate sales? Who's going to get, who is God going to send those divine appointments to? 
Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.